Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing up the Madden cheese as always. Got some plays for you today out of the Ravens playbook again. Uh, this is probably going to be one of the last uh, practice mode videos that I do because I'm essentially almost done with my ebooks, uh, which is the reason that I've been doing these type of videos. These type of videos are just a lot faster uh, than the uh, the game plays, the tip videos that I typically want to do. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm just about done. So ebooks should be getting posted. I told you guys in yesterday's video I would update you on the ebooks. They should start posting today. Um, it's a very lengthy process. So, you know, I, I appreciate you guys for hanging with me on that. Uh, other than that, I'm going to show you guys uh, a really cool new formation. The Ravens playbook is probably going to be a playbook that I do a lot of gameplay with because I love some of these uh, tricky uh, run plays uh, that you can do with your quarterback. My mutt team, I got Lamar Jackson on my mutt team. I got work done on my mutt team. So this is really something that I, I'm looking to exploit uh, in game plays. And the formation I'm going to show you guys is the Gun Heisman. Now, there's only three plays in this formation. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm gonna, I mean, they're all in the audibles already. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead. I'm going I'm to run all three. Uh, but the one that I like the most is probably the shovel option. Uh, but it's really based off of what you're looking at. So like I said, we're going to pick all three. I'll start. I'll hit the I'll hit the shovel option, and then I'm just going to pick random 4-3 uh, here. Like I said, this formation is going to be pretty glitchy. Before I get into the video, though, do me a favor. Hook me up with the like button, as always. Uh, you guys have been killing it with the like button. I really appreciate that. Helps this channel out immensely. Like, shares, comments, all that stuff really help out my videos. And if you like what you see, make sure to stick around. So like I was saying, I mean, this formation really, it, it works best against like off this particular play anyway works best against like off cover three cover four man coverages typically in a man coverage you're going to see there's no cornerback on the right side so that's really when i want to run this particular play against uh zones i typically find that the high spin option is probably best uh because you have an option to go the other way so on a play like this I mean, it's an off zone i could probably run either one i'm gonna go ahead and go the other way though uh, as you can see, I mean, the blocking, it's a great edge run to both sides, which is one of the reasons that I like this so much. All I'm really watching to make my reads is, like I said, it's right, right here. We got a man covered. There's nobody on the right side. This is the perfect time to run this. Uh, and I'm, I'm just pitching it out most times, uh, unless they don't, you know, get anywhere near Lamar. But there, I had to make that pitch pretty quick. So when it comes to diagnosing the run plays, it's really that simple. Is, is there somebody out? Is it a man coverage? Is my first read? If it is, I'm going the opposite way. Is there anybody right outside of this guy here? And then you see, we just have huge looping runs going both sides. I haven't even used this play to, to its fullest yet. I mean, that's a play. I mean, once again, we just got another man here. But that Heisman option, I have two different directions that I could go, uh, which is pretty cool. And then, like I said, I mean, right here, if, if I could just get uh, Lamar to complete that block, he just kind of ran into nothing. But that could have been a really big run there. Um, I could just work this to death. I mean, ultimately, uh, like, like Lamar here, the, the way that they just hold up, I can just hold up with Lamar too. I mean, if, if they're not being more aggressive than that, if the defense is not crashing in, I'll go to the replay there and show you what I was looking at. I mean, being, having Lamar obviously helps, but right here, if, they, if they're not, like I said, they, they're, they're waiting for the pitch. So if they're waiting for the pitch, I'll just run it out because you can see right there, they're just, it's too hesitant. And that's, this is like I'm saying, when you have new formations like this or new uh, new plays like this, I think you can put this on uh, lack of coding. They have to they have to code this or, or program this to, to for the defense to react a certain type of way. And if they're going to react in this way, <laughs> they're not even going to do anything. They're just stopping and taking themselves out of the play. So if they're going to be uh, passive like this, waiting for the for the for the pitch, you got to hold it. Now I could have pitched it back the other way too because there was a hole. So there's so many different things you can do with this. This is just the way that I find it's best to run it. If you're running the shovel option, it's best to hold up with the quarterback until they force you to pitch, until they come at you to tackle. Uh, I don't really find uh, flipping it the other way is really that effective, but it's an option. So I'm not really making, when it comes to the Heisman option, I'm not really making those reads at all as I accidentally flip the play. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't really intend uh, to hold it the opposite way. That's the thing. Like the Heisman option... Uh, is a much safer play so I'm typically just going if I'm making the read to, to run the Heisman option I'm just making the read like this makes more sense because I'm going in this direction but ultimately that's about it and then you can see like I said right there I mean it's just a really consistent run I, can, I could use this all game and something that I noticed running these plays this year feels like the the, the, the plays themselves are on training wheels when it comes to the pitches and tosses you'll either get pitches that you probably shouldn't get or you'll get, uh, you know, you'll get late pitches that probably should have been tackles. Uh, you'll get, um, you know, like like pitches that you probably would have fumbled that they won't even let you do. I mean, it feels like they really made it easier to run these type of plays. And it's a good thing because they're really fun. 
Like these are some of the funner plays to run in the game. You can see how successful they are. As far as the pass play, um, I find it's best just to put the B route on a drag. Um, you can motion this guy the line. He'll get open under a lot of different coverages. But if you've got the, the B route on a drag, it just basically, uh, for one, it's a good check down. But if it's a cover two, it'll between him and the tight end, it'll be a very good cover two play. So I'm not, I'm not saying that it is cover two. I'm just saying in general, uh, this is one of the better ways to go. And then, like I said, this is a really good route outside here. Uh, you'll just get a really good, I mean, against cover three, cover four, he's going to get open underneath. I mean, this play doesn't necessarily have a lot of man beaters in it. Uh, but what does in this year's man really, right? Uh, but ultimately, I mean, like I said, you can have, like, that's a cover three, and that tight end's still working. So you're really mostly working the tight, the, the drag and the tight end. So as far as the pass play reads go, I mean, you really just have your cover two beater, which is the tight end, but your man beater, which is the drag, also can be cover two. Uh, and then your uh, Y route, which is a good cover three, good cover four underneath uh, coverage beater. And that's pretty much it. So, you know, this is a play. I mean, it's it's got some, it's got a, it's got a, a route for everything, but it's not like an explosive route. It's just a good route to mix in based off the fact that it's the only pass play you have. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more stuff out of the Ravens, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. Wish it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.